one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. So I have to go with the giant chickens, not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What, what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Embrace being a loser. And if you do that, you can be whatever you want to be. What if I want to be a winner? No, accept that. Anything else, though? <laughs> All right. Fine. Did you hear that? everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two... According to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It would be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Anything can happen, Olivia. Then why have we lost nine of these in a row? You can't, no, you can't look at this as a whole. The odds are refresh each time. Maybe no one else will show up. Now you're being realistic. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do 
we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, we build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. All right, let's build the Creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? What's wrong with my idea? Nothing. It could be totally cool. It is cool. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. I think we've got everything we need. It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing them. We're so prepared. We can't lose. We cannot. Bring it in. Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. Prepare. leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in good spice. building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is better. A creeper that shoots fireworks is cooler than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being <coughs> unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? 
I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Hey, guys. Hey, Petra. How's Bill going? Only time will tell. We're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the EnderCon building competition. The winner of this year's competition will have their build featured at EnderCon. The winner will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior. Handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just <clears throat> make one up. We'll call it the... Uh, the Griefer Grab. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Let's do it. Building the star now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. <laughs> you worry about your build.
It's getting scary out here. Ruben. Ruben. Oh, no. You in there, buddy? Oh, jeez. Please don't be toasted, Ruben. show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a witch. It, yeah, this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. I guess going to the scariest place in the world is just another day at work for you, huh? I haven't faced down death at least twice before lunch. I'm not living up to my full potential. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being a resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For 
all the trouble I had to go to get it. I should be asking so much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'd be honored to be your backup. You don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I just can't... You could come with me. I know. I was there. It was amazing. I'm kind of starting to have second thoughts here. Can we just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better. You can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. 